What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! So it's been a uh, it's been a while since Vim Tools has been around, and I got to tell you, so I've not been super impressed with anything they've had, and I feel like they finally might have got a product that I could actually see that's useful, and they made a step in the right direction. In my opinion, that uh, uh, with some stuff. So let's just instead of babbling on about it, let's just talk about it, and move along. First of all, they've got some new products out. Uh, the one thing that they were... These things right here don't look really all that effective to me, uh, per se. I guess I really have to find a use for them. I'd say hydraulic line guys probably find these the most useful. Uh, I could see this in diesel applications, maybe, if they hold up. Uh, and you guys look at me down in the comment box. But I definitely find uh, that in the automotive industry, those are going to be too bulky in most cases. But... I would see in the uh, industrial or the tractors and whatnot here in the Midwest that these things could possibly make it. Now, I don't think that these are actually something... I've, I've seen this style before. Uh, and if you guys remember, some of you guys have been around for a while and you've seen these, let me know in the comment box. Now, $173.33, which I do realize they're probably selling with dealers, so this is just an MS, MSRP price because they don't want to... Uh, they don't want to sell beneath their dealers where I could see this might be a little bit high on their website. Uh, you might want to talk to your dealer and see if they sell them and find out. But anyways, nonetheless, let's look back here at some other stuff. So they have these new wrenches that are the slim angled and they're light. These kind of look like uh, they're ratcheting. Asahi from Japan kind of makes a uh, wrench like this, a lighter one. Not really sure what I think about those. 219 26 eh. um, There's no... I don't remember what the... Let's see what these are. 72 teeth. So they're 72 tooth. And the EVA foam... So guys, here's the thing about the EVA foam. Now, give me give me your thoughts on this. But I, I, gotta, I gotta tell you... I think that we're wasting this EVA foam. Honestly. The way that they're laying these tools out. Uh, I have an idea for an EVA foam tool. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure that I'm going to share this because I might come out with this idea myself. But uh, I think these EVA foams are definitely a waste spacer in toolboxes. And I think we need to uh, start th being more conscientious of guys that don't want to buy new toolboxes every time they buy a new tool. Uh, but once again, let me know in the comment box what you think about that. So uh, we have a 10 millimeter flex palm ratcheting wrench, heavy duty pry bar. The extendable ratchet that they have out too. The only thing, I'll be honest with you, I don't really believe that I need a breaker bar attachment when I got a ratchet that big. Um, and this ratchet is very similar to the Easy Red style. Actually, this is exactly the same as my Matco one. Uh, this is the exact same one as my Matco. And if you notice the lever on there too, that's pretty common in several manufacturing aspects. Also, I realize that I'm uh, doing this video in a different format. I'm just trying this out just to see uh, what you guys think about it. Uh, a lot of people are on phones and whatnot. Sorry about that beep. But, yeah. Uh, this is, the one thing different is, is that this ratchet, extended part of this ratchet, looks like it's a square shaft versus my Matco is a round one. So, that's uh, the DR34. You can look it up and see. But that's actually pretty close to the same price as what... The uh, actually, so their their part number is an HDR 34K, and the part number is a, on the Matco one's a DR 34. So it is a nice ratchet, and they're about the same price. But uh, and I don't, and once again, the Matcos, I, I don't, I, I Vim doesn't make their tools. I'm, I'm pretty sure they've actually made that comment. They're getting them manufactured. So let's see if they've got the other products. I'm gonna have to go. Oh, there's their bit ratchet. I know one of the popular things that people talk about is their bit ratchet kit. Um, let's see if we can find that in a kit. The RB. This bit ratchet, which is similar to the... So, Dean Tools was the first one to come out with one of these kits. They've been out for a long time now. Everybody's got them. Icon came out with them. Well, I think a lot of you guys have seen it. I, it was too hard. I will say, navigating this website not very uh i don't like how it's set up which i understand they're still trying to probably put get stuff together and streamline but trying to find uh the tools that i want if they're not on the new product section and they've got such a large selection that it'd be nicer if they had them sorted out into bits and sizes and whatnot that's a little bit anyways moot point but uh we have that this is the stuff that's coming soon and this is what i really wanted to talk about 
So let's uh, let's put our pul finger on this pulse here. Um, drive extension kit. These are the spring loaded. I I'm really kind of on the fence about the spring loaded stuff because I really don't like using I use impact stuff. But let's get into the meat and potatoes. So this is their new uh, wrench kit. Okay, and you guys know all know the mountain kit. These do have a zero degree offset. They are spline drive. Uh, they are spline drive. So. One thing I noticed about them, uh, quite frankly, I would have loved to have seen these in 12 point. That switch is pretty robust, which is nice. They have a satin finish. They do not have an 18 millimeter, once again, uh, following Asian standards. And they have, and you have to buy the 19 millimeter separate. So uh, that's kind of a bummer. But the set's kind of expensive, and I realize that's that's exactly why this is not a cheap set. But uh, however, I like the fact this is how you guys should be using these wrenches. They have an offset, zero degree offset side, 12 point side over here, which will definitely mitigate issues with bolt sticking on the um, spline drive side. But this uh, 12 point side should be used for breaking the bolt free. And then you have the ratcheting side, which is definitely uh, how. It should have been made from a lot of companies in the get-go. To be honest with you, Matco, uh, not Matco, well, Matco did, but Armstrong actually did this with their wrenches when they first came out with this style of ratcheting wrenches, and I have those, and I, I, I've always loved that. You use the hard side to break the nut free, which is exactly how you should use the tool. And people that are lazy will use the ratcheting side. And I know everybody gives that thing, well, they're warranty, lifetime warranty. Well... Once again, when you have to wait for warranty, it's not always the, it's not always conducive to being able to use your tools or getting the job done when you need that tool. So keep that in mind. All right, so let's move on to the other things uh, that I thought were interesting. Um, they had some more. This bit kit was kind of kind of interesting. Um, no price on it. These power drive sockets. They're pinless. Um, and they have a bit holder, a quarter inch and a five sixteenths bit holder. And then we have a three eighths and a quarter inch drive, uh, on a flex. But, uh, I would have liked to see that, you know, here's the thing with these, these bit, these holders like this, uh, you'd really want, I really like to see something locking on those, but that's just me because you're using an impact with those bit holders. Sorry, let's click back on that. So here's the thing. When you're using an impact driver on these kind of things, you kind of want something that's that holds on a little bit firmer and i've noticed over the years once you start getting it, if you put a deep socket on that and you start and you come off a nut and you're spinning watch out and i mean black eye city could be coming or whatnot which i always, you should always be using your safety glasses i know which safety third in some people's books whatever nonetheless uh the bit retainer looked like it was nice uh it, it was definitely a positive positive engagement but I think some sort of locking device on those would be whenever you're using the impacts guys on swivels <laughs> that's uh that's that's why i use extensions locking extensions all the time so uh anyways uh the other big thing that i want to talk about was this xen bit kit i have been looking for an a triple square bit kit for a long time like this and kudos to vim because this was actually the one that caught my eye kudos to vim for finally coming out with a long bit kit all the way up to 18 millimeter and all the way down to four millimeter and just having a complete set of triple squares uvw guys know exactly what i'm talking about and they look like very quality so uh this is the one thing to me that i was excited about from vim and the price on it is not bad 115 dollars. so you will see cp finally get some vim tools on this uh channel because i i've been wanting a kit like this for a long time so i'll definitely be buying them so anyways guys let me know in the comment box what you think uh, if you enjoyed this video uh if you want to see more vim stuff that i talk about i like i said in the past i've not been very excited about vim they really haven't got anything that's turned turn my crank it is kind of pricey if you're buying off their website unless you get a dealer that sells vim uh so you know let me know in the comment like comment share subscribe ring that bell remember keep your hands dirty and your money clean thanks for watching